Hello, welcome to the Thursday, February 17th, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. DocuSign is still popular in either fake or real messages. Kind of interesting, today we have a diary from Pratt about a fake DocuSign message. And actually, just a couple of hours ago, I received a real one and asked the sender, well, whether or not it was real because uh, the fake ones are so common and often impersonating the real ones so well. In this case, the case that Pratt described, the link then led to the Astaroth or Giltma malware and, well, would lead to an infection if you let it play out. Actually, this one for a change does not involve an Office document with macros. Instead, it's uh, just a simple zip file that then uh, expands uh, to a CMD file, which, of course, executes and downloads additional uh, code. And, of course, as usual, you will find the actual malware and uh, PCAPs and such for your analysis on Brad's website. And we've got a couple of vulnerabilities here to talk about that you probably uh, want uh, to deal with uh, before the weekend, if possible. First, uh, Atlassian uh, did release updates for Confluence Server as well as uh, for uh, Jira Server. The Confluence Server vulnerability is rated as high. It's a privilege escalation vulnerability that would allow a local authenticated user via DLL hijacking to then actually escalate privileges. Jira suffers from a number of uh, cross-site request forgery issues where an attacker could use them to then adjust settings. Also uh, some data leakage uh, issues. All of these are only rated as medium and I think uh, that's appropriate but given the critical um, nature of uh, Jira and uh, Confluence in the software development uh, lifecycle you probably do want to address uh, those vulnerabilities quickly. And then we got an update from VMware for its uh, ESXi workstation and Fusion uh, products. Uh, This update fixes a total of five different vulnerabilities. Overall, uh, VMware does rate the update as a critical. CVSS range is between 5.3 and 8.4. One common denominator here in particular for the uh, critical vulnerabilities is a uh, vulnerability in the uh, USB subsystem of a uh, VMware and the uh, possible mitigation is to remove all USB controllers from your virtual machines. Be a little bit uh, careful with this uh, because uh, this could also affect keyboard and mouse. So maybe for a server that you only uh, access via SSH and such, this may be an option, but well, a patch, that's probably an easier and less risky uh, proposition here. These vulnerabilities were found as part of last year's uh, Tianfu uh, Cup, which is uh, one of those uh, pwn-to-own contests specifically uh, run in China. There is no public release of these vulnerabilities as far as I can tell. Also, a little disconnect here in the advisory. The advisory is labeled as critical. The CVSS scores are 8.4, which usually is considered critical, but the severity for the individual vulnerability says important, so I'm not 100% sure um, why they uh, did it this way, uh, just as a heads up here. The basic effect of the vulnerabilities is that an attacker uh, could essentially break out of a virtual machine. And the FBI is warning of the use of virtual meeting uh, platforms in order to conduct a business email compromise. I guess it's no longer business email compromise if it doesn't involve email. Well, uh, the email still sp- plays a role as uh, participants are invited to the meeting. And apparently in some cases, actors here have used sort of these uh, deep fake uh, audio impersonations of individuals. So it may be a little bit difficult to figure out that you're not talking to the CEO here in particular, if you're not sort of talking to the CEO on a day-to-day basis. 
Use of camera may help here or of course just your spidey senses in the sense that uh, if there is a request coming that's unusual, uh, maybe to confirm it uh, via some out of band means. They also point out uh, to be suspicious if, for example, all of a sudden an unusual uh, platform is used uh, for the meeting. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.